Okay guys, so I'm cleaning out my utensil drawer. It's too full, gotta get rid of some stuff. And I come across this, I don't even drink. I don't know anybody that drinks wine. I don't know why I need it. But then I say, oh, what could I make with this? You know, any good crafter cannot throw away a thing. So you're, for this project, you're gonna need one of these. A cork. I've got this. I have a bunch of corks because I'm saving them for a craft. Just haven't figured out the craft yet. But I like this one because it has the bulbous head on it. So it'll fit when I screw this down. If it's nicely up inside of there. So this is a really simple project. Watch this. I'm going to spray paint this black to match. Okay, so I've painted my cork, which is going to be part of my base for this. Do you see anything yet? No? Okay. So next, what I'm going to do is I took a piece of silver wire. It's my craft making uh, beading wire. And I've added some silver pony beads. Um, let me see. I've got nine inch of wire because I'm not sure how much I'll need. And you could use multiple colors, really jazz it up. But I'm, I'm going to try to stick by the silver and black theme. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some hair for my little person. Yes, this is going to be a person. So I'm just going to connect it over here. Twist the wire around, slide a couple beads over the ends of the wire. So now I'm just going to wrap it around here. And you can make it with longer hair, shorter hair, have it all piled up on top. However you want to do it, tuck it into a bead. So this is what we have so far. And like I said, you could, you could have long hair. I also had thought about this. It's doll making hair. You know, you could pile a bunch of hair on top of it, but I'm trying to keep it uh, with the metal theme. So that's what we have so far. Next. You're going to take a couple of these charm holders. They're bead charm holders. And put the two holder parts together over top of each other and super glue it. So I've already done that. And then I put, I put a little blue bead. A seed bead inside each one. I put it on a toothpick, put glue inside, and then held it in there for a second. Let me get it back a little bit. So these are going to be my eyes for my little person. And what I'm going to do is cut a little piece of wire. They're kind of going to be like floating eyes. Well, that's probably too little. So I'm going to run my wire through the hole like this and then I'm just going to stick it up in the hair figure out how far down you want them to lay while they're going to hang so You'll have to stand it up and see where you want them to hang. Actually, before you do that, you need to twist it to keep them straight. Otherwise, they're going to really be floating all over the place. So 
that's nice and sturdy. Now I'm going to put it up in the hair. Get them where you want them. And then give it a couple of twists up here. Okay, then you're just going to take your cutters. Get that out of there. She or he has a crazy hair. It should be a she, it should be me. I always have crazy hair. Now, I wanted to show you also, you could take some uh, charm holders like this, do the same thing, glue them together, and look, you have cat eyes. Which would be cute. You could even make it into a cat. But this is what I have right here, and I'm trying to make it simple. But, I have a little base I took. It's outside drying right now because I painted it black. I have a lot of these tags and little round wood pieces. So, I thought about this one, trimming it around the base, and then that could be feet painted black like some black shoes um, but I ended up going for a round one and I'm going to glue it on there and then we're going to uh, finish her now remember this is just for inspiration you can do whatever you could add clothes what I'm going to do is I beaded this little love necklace that I'm going to put on because I think mine's going to be a girl. But I'm trying to keep it simple. And I just wanted to give her a little bit of jazz. But, you know, you could make some little earrings. Hang, you know, hang them off of here. You could make a mouth. I'm going to leave this as my mouth. I Like I said, I want to leave it simple. My thing was, I was making this to put in this giant bowl that I got for my fruit and vegetables, my fresh fruit and vegetables to sit out. Um, I'm doing keto right now and I'm trying to, obviously trying to lose weight, but I'm uh, trying to get better at eating more vegetables and fruits. Not as much fruit because of keto. But um, I was going to put her in the middle of that, in the middle of my fruits and vegetables. And look, if you put it, you know, screw it more into your cork, you can make it have different stances. So let me show you. I wanted her to have her hands up like, yay, whenever I look at the, uh, the fruit and vegetable bowl. Have her hands up and then she would be kind of in the midst of the fruits and vegetables like yes but you can turn her head like i said it's just this is just for inspiration to give you a start and then you can do whatever you want with her i'm gonna go get my little base and glue her on and then i will take a picture so, I'd love to see what y'all end up coming up with. Uh, I just hate it to just throw it away. So, let me get the base. Okay. Got my super glue gel. So, I'm going to let that dry for a minute. Okay, while that was drying, I started thinking it really needed a little more silver on the bottom to kind of tie it all together so I just took a piece of wire went outwards a little bit 
to make sure it was long enough. Strung up these silver pony beads and I'm going to take my super glue gel and tack a few on there and then twist the ends. And then she should be ready for her debut for you to see her in all her glory. And voila, my little lady is complete. Here's her little necklace, her little blue eyes. And you know, you can twist this around to make the arms go up or down for however you want to pose it. You could put a different kind of base on it. Um, you could use lots of colors to make it really colorful but i'm good with her like this so there we go i will see you on the next one and don't forget to subscribe thanks bye